Hi, this is Commander Organic, and in this video, I'm going to show you my personal top five systems that I've discovered and lead dangerous over my five years exploring in this game. It took a lot of narrowing down. Some systems made it for their views that they offer, while others made it for the significance of the bodies that are within them. All systems featured in this video are in the description. Now, sit back and enjoy the views. Number 5 I was wandering the Itanami region when I discovered this system. Here it's highlighted in green. From the system map, I noticed an atmospheric planetary body orbiting a close binary consisting of a white dwarf and an M-type star in 10 days. I flew over there and sure enough, it was in a really close orbit. However, I discovered this system before Odyssey was released, so at that time I couldn't land on it. To my luck, the pressure was low enough that a ship could land on it once the DLC was released. And then it was. So the picture taking began, and to this day, these are some of the best views I've ever seen from the surface of a planet. Number 4 Now, this was discovered a year ago in May of 2021 when I was HMAS searching the Plippa sector. It was a hard pick from all the other discoveries within the sector, but it beat them by a slim margin because of one thing. Before we get to that thing, here's another spectacular view. Very rare, but not quite uncommon in HMAS systems, a ringed neutron star. Always an amazing find for an explorer like myself. Now, compared to what I've seen, this is a small ring for a neutron star. They can get much bigger. Here's an example. These rings are orbiting so quickly that entering their frame of reference, the skybox will noticeably move ever so slowly as you orbit within them. But to the other thing. This is not a class 3 gas giant, nor is it a helium rich gas giant. This is a very rare blue water giant, and there are two of them in the system, right here. Could these be the yet to be found and probably bugged water giant with water based life? Maybe it was supposed to be. Nothing is different about their atmosphere and composition, and knowing FDEV, we will never know. It's still pretty cool though. Number 3 I stumbled upon this while mindlessly jumping about a few thousand light years beyond the core, jamming to music. Upon arrival, I jumped a little because the inbound trajectory took me through the White Dwarf's emission jets. And unbeknownst to me, for one frame, I saw this. This Class 5 gas giant orbits its parent White Dwarf in 27 minutes. At the time of recording, this is the 106th fastest orbiting body in the game. Being near a black hole, I took the opportunity to capture some really cool time lapses. This will be further down the list, but since this phenomenon is being discovered more and more, this isn't that rare to find anymore, but it's still significant. Number 2 This is my most recent discovery on the list, found in November of 2021 during the Magellan Experience Expedition. I was scouting for new points of interest when I saw a helium rich gas giant in my FSS. I thought nothing of it, and I went to go and check it out. This is what I saw on approach, and I was confused as to what the hell I was looking at. I turned on the orbit lines, and I realized that it has a nearly perpendicular orbit around this ring brown dwarf. I bookmarked it, and continued on the expedition. But when I returned to the bubble a month or so later, I figured I'd go back and take some more pictures. These photos are just mind-boggling. It takes a second to understand what I'm looking at. The gas giant completes one full orbit in just one and a half days. And it's also close to the beautiful blue binary stars at the center of the system. Fun fact, this gas giant holds a galactic record for being the closest helium rich moon to arrival at just over 200 light seconds. So if you're ever traveling along the Perseus arm going galactic east towards Magellan star, make sure you give the system a visit. It would be well worth a trip. Now, before we go to number one, I just want to point out again that all systems in this video, except for number four, are in the Galactic Mapping Project, and their respective links are in the description. 
now on to number one. Number one. I found this system by complete accident. I was playing on the TV upstairs and was showing my parents the game. I veered off the path I was originally on to show them some neutron stars. After they went to bed, I went off again in a different route towards a Wolf-Rayet star. I then stumbled upon this system. Again, I was confused as to what I was looking at in the FSS as every one of the five water worlds in the system were concentrated around this class 3 gas giant, and the majority of them were ringed. So I open the system map and my jaw literally drops. Four water worlds orbit this gas giant, the first three being terraformable and the last three being ringed. There is also a gas giant with water-based life orbiting the class three as well with the landable moon to get a view of all the water worlds moving ever so slowly along their orbits. The gas giant is also in binary with another water world which is not terraformable. There are only a handful of these water-rich moon systems known, most of those are on the GMP as well. I'm glad to have my name on one of them. So, if you want some beautiful scenery and a big bundle of credits, hop on over to the Orion Cygnus arm and check it out. Alright everybody, those are my top 5 systems. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video, and I hope you saw some pretty cool scenery that you might want to visit for yourself. I've been Commander Arcanic, till next time.